What's up, friends? Today we're playing some more Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. We have finally just made it to the Draclor lab, and we gotta find Sid, Balthier's father. Hope you guys enjoy, and thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the comments. Draclor Laboratory. It's too quiet. Passing strange. There are supposed to be guards here. Maybe you were just lucky, huh? Maybe you're just optimistic. Something may be afoot. We proceed with caution. No time for caution. Step to it. Sid's chambers are on the top level. Is it fighting time? Hell yeah. Oh. What is all this? Despicable. You are with him? Him? Him who? Is it vain? I don't know. Select destination. We're currently on the 66th floor. 67, 68. Let's go to 67. Kind of reminds me of um, when we go to Shinra, the Shinra building. We got to take the elevators or the stairs and fight the guards and stuff. Although this time the guards have already been fought. I don't think you'll get away with this. Stay away from Dr. Sid. I wish I could go in some of these rooms. Ooh, what's this? Some kind of airship? All right, well, not much here. 68th floor. What 
am I missing here? Oh, wait. Um... I feel like I might have missed something on the first floor. I don't know. With the lower floor. CDB. Oh, you can interact with at least one of them. He's had visitors. One's lacking manners by the look of it. Someone after the Nethesite? The Yuck de Four, was it? Six years, and ever since you got back, this. What madness found you there? Hmm? Up! Above us! Drop bulkheads five and eight! Be to it! They found us. These earlier visitors, more like. We should lie low for now. No, we'll use their confusion. We need to find Sid now. We got an, a lab access card and a map of the labs. Nice. Um. Now we can go in all the rooms. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's do this. Researcher. What's going on? There were soldiers in the lab laboratory? Has there been an intruder? The bulkheads are functioning. We're safe. The bulkheads, red and blue, are activated alter alternately. When one opens, the other locks. No one who was intimately familiar with the workings of the laboratory could get through. Uh, who wasn't? The guards will find them soon enough. So then, who might you be? Uh, I totally belong here. You will not be able to leave this area easily. Okay, yeah. Alright, we gotta look in all the rooms now. Let's, what do we have here? Bulkhead controls. Open the blue bulkheads, they're currently closed. Okay. The red bulkheads have closed, the blue have opened. Change the controls again. Oh my goodness! Max, thank you for five more gift subs! <laughs> ah! Thanks, guys! Wait, so... In the red? Uh 
Aha! A claymore? <clears throat> Let's check that out. So this is a great, it needs great swords one. Should we try it out? You only have 47. Never mind. I need 50 LP. And I have 47. Anybody want to fight me? Anybody want to fight me? Um I think maybe we're done on this floor. No. Wait, we didn't go this way. Open. Open sesames. let me explore all the rooms and they could have foregone all this switching red and blue oh one lp two more to go so anyone thing with the light coming out of the door looks like we can go inside commotion outside it's hard to concentrate with such a racket i have all the latest manufactured nethocyte data yet dr sid is unreachable perhaps he's pondering the mysteries of the universe on 70. he's on the 70th floor okay now We can try going to... Oh, I need to open the blue, don't I? Yep. Ugh, okay. This is a pain. Valkos, thank you for gifting a sub to like a twin dragon. So back to the elevator. Oh, hello. Whoa, why am I dying? Get this guy out real quick. Okay, let's try it. I know it's gonna make him more difficult to gonna make him uh, a little bit squishier I think because he won't be able to wear his shield but it looks cool let's go back down to the 66th floor I guess probably okay so this We'll need to open. Ah! Well, how much damage are we doing with this? 1600? doing 2,000 damage. I think I need to go back to a different floor and switch the... 
I need to open the orange ones. Whoa, what was that? What was that attack? We're gonna be here all stream doing this. I feel like. something uh, do we want to switch the colors right now probably let me look at the map see what's down here Yep, let's switch it. Oh, crap, it's been an hour and a half. We didn't take a break. When you guys are really into a game, like how often do you take a break? Do you take breaks? <laughs> I could play for hours and hours and hours and hours. Oh my god. Scathe? Is that what that's called? Crazy. Crazy looking thing. He did it again. Warp moat. You're a moat. Remote and all oh, this one's broken or powered down. I don't know Usually don't take a break depends on how into the game you are you never take a break Only when you need to eat or go to the bathroom Used to be never but now every like one and a half to two hours Take a break soon, I promise. Okay, so we just we just went here, right? So have we been in here yet? Oh, I don't think we have. Did I ever play any mainstream MMORPGs? Uh the first Guild Wars? Hi Clay! What's up? 
what's new. Ooh, level up. Did you beat Yakuza 0? Is that why you're here? Screaming at me? What the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is going on? What are these? What's wrong with these slimes? Kill the slime! Oh my goodness, you didn't beat it yet? Oh. <laughs> One of these days, Clay's gonna come in here and he's gonna be like, I beat it. It's just not today. Ouch. Hey! Ah! <laughs> oh dear. I just got killed by the princess. Removes confuse. I spent all that energy to get to this room so I could just fight a bunch of slimes and die to my own ally. That was was that worth it? Okay, so now we need to open the orange and get back to where we get we, and get back to the elevator, I think is what we need to do here. Okay, so we opened the orange, but now can we get now we need to get back to the elevator. Why is the map all messed up? I'm not really sure. figure out where I'm going these guys show up all right okay we made it to the elevator okay here we go Ugh. yeah come on out come on out come get some uh which floor was it again 66 All right All the air Oh god There might be too many of them Confused, that's not good. Oh, Ash is out of MP. Oh, well, that would explain some things. one 
We're doing it. doing? Going up here? Whoa! What are these guys? Blood Gigas. As far as loot goes, we just need maybe one more room. We can't go this way. Okay, yes. Gravity moat and Aroga moat. <laughs> progress do we have to go to the 68th i guess i think i have to go to the 68th floor for progress i don't know what the hell i'm doing all right uh probably this whole system needs to die <laughs> all right team destination ah 70th floor okay hopefully it's boss fight time soon You bear not the stench of Sid's lackeys. And you are our oh. only visitor. Who is he? Yes, a valuable mm. man, one I'd sooner not lose. Yet he knows too much. Hmm. Hmm. Save Crystal. Yes. what's around here gill toss ooh I have no gill though <laughs> kind of broke I think a couple people have gill toss license though or at least one Affected Nethersite brought down the Leviathan. How can you persist in this folly? <laughs> and you've come here to stop me. I'd fain see you try. Consider your bones, old man. You're outmatched. Pirate scum of the skies. What brings you here? That's your son. Treasure. What else would a pirate want? We'll take the Dusk Shard. <laughs> you've come all this way for that trinket. I thought you were above this. What's that? Uh... 
The princess of Dalmasco come to visit. Mm. She's not entirely without merit. A test of sorts for her princess? Who are you ah. talking to? Does he have an imaginary friend? You're a babbling fool. A trial for a Shelia Banargan Dalmasca! You lust for the stone's power, do you not? <sighs> Lend him not your ears, my lady. He means to use you. <laughs> Manufactured nethersite like Bergen. How could you do this? How could you fall this far? Aww. Okay, so we have Rook A, B, C, and D. Try to take those out first. Or they don't have health bars, do they? disabling them oh they have reflect okay never mind we fucked up uh, what can we do here I don't think a remedy is going to work on this. Okay, she's good now. Attack. Uh, Dr. Sif? Okay. trying to use to spell this one doesn't have reflect on it currently I don't know if that means I'll be able to do any damage to it though Disable is a. What about stop? Miss. One of them died. Always hiding behind your toys. Pity if anything were to happen to them. I couldn't tell if if I was doing anything to them or not. 
Targets. I guess it's fine. Okay. It pains me to inform you that your time here is over. The curtain falls. from him for old time's sakes oh and not of rest how nice i thought there was more of a trick to this fight creature so this is your vena oh is that like a stand a shelia benagin dalmasca you said that already just how far will you go for power does your lust for nethersite consume you <laughs> am i right i am aren't i a worthy daughter of the dynast king you would do well to go to giru vegan who knows? You may receive a new stone for your trouble. Your words mean nothing to me! The reins of history back in the hands of man. I do make for Giravagan. Give chase if you dare it. Hate it when he does that. <laughs> Mayhaps you think me remiss, the Lady Ash of Dalmasca. The Sky Pirate Rethos, at your employ. Sky Pirate Rethos. The Imperial Senate, powerless to resist House Solidor's brutal purge, was dissolved. Vain Solidor reigned supreme over the Empire. Ooh. Though this upheaval shook the Imperial Bastion to its foundation, these developments were, to say the least, welcomed by her military. The authoritarian rule of the judges, in tandem with the impending threat of Rosarian invasion, served to foster camaraderie among its ranks. For our part, the Resistance mustered strength in the border skies, making ready for the task ahead. A war to decide the doom of Ivalice would soon be upon us.
Squads Flame Tongue and Oganex are away. All ships reporting in. They're breaking to begin ship to ship maneuvers against us. All hands, full ahead flank. We shall make ready to repel their attacks. Counter air. Track them as though they were the enemy. Counter air, to your stations. A dispatch from Naldoa Command, Excellency. The Sky Pirate has left Arcadian airspace. He makes for Balfonheim with the Lady Ash and her party. It is good to know the Lady still lives. But what of our bid for the stone? With the stone or without, our resistance should prove an even match for the Imperial Army. These weeks of training have honed our edge. I pray it is sharp enough. They choose to supply the resistance, yet raise not a sword in aid. What city could do this? A city of men without countries, pirates of the sea and of the sky. Few are they who would fain lay down their lives for a friend, let alone a king. The Marquis, he is set on war? The time approaches when he must make his position vis-a-vis -vis the Empire clear. When he helped you off the Leviathan, he spited the judges full sore. He cannot sit in idleness and expect to avoid a reckoning. The Marquis shares my distaste for war. Yet, if it comes to it, he will show no quarter. For the time being, we will continue to train the Resistance Army. Enough power on our side, and even Vane may see the appeal of the treaty table. Yet Vane holds the Nethersite. What makes you think he would treat when he holds such power? Power enough to sink the Leviathan. All the more reason for me to support your infiltration of the capital. You said it yourself. The Nethersite is a powerful weapon. I would have you acquire it for me. I have not said I would give you the Midlight Shard. If there is no stone, I would have to look elsewhere for aid. Then you would ally with Rosaria. As I must. Failure is not an option. It's just what Vane wants. He lures the Rosarians and the Resistance to the field, then crushes both with the Nethersite. I think not. Sid has a stone. We grab it and smash it to pieces with the Sword of Kings. Vane will be left holding nary a thing. Time is short. We follow Sid. He's heading towards Giru Vagan. Giru Vagan. It is told of in a song of my people. On the farthest shores of the river of time, shrouded deep in the roiling mist, the holy land sleeps. Guru Vagan, who knows the paths, the way to its doors? Then you seek the Yok de Four, deep within the jungle of Golmor. There is a corner of the Feywood where a mist storm surges and seethes. And that's it. Let's go. Right. <gasps> Not coming, Rithers? Forget your precious nether sight already? Sid's words rang hollow to me. I will follow another course. Ah, another lead then, is it? You're well informed. I could well say the same to you, pirate. Hurry it up, or we'll leave without you. Ah, Vaughn. I've had some of my men check on this Feywood. Best ask what they've found. Okay. Thanks for the help, Brothers. <laughs> Fly first, ask questions later. Your apprentice is more pirate than you. I don't have an apprentice. <laughs> Princess Ash, I would hear your heart. If Dr. Sid has spoke the truth, you may well be rewarded with more Nethersite in Giru Vagan. Tell me, do you still desire the stone? I desire its power. I want, yet I also fear. I must protect Elmasca. I can't afford to fear anything. Do not 
not forget Nabodis. That is my only counsel for you. Alfenheim. The water looks very blue here. Maybe a little bit more blue than at the, uh, the Fawn Coast. Who's this guy? Ah, our guest. If you finish talking with Lord Redis, I suppose you'll be wanting to hear about the Feywood. Freakin, why must we aid these people? They seek only to further their own ends and care little for our Lord's wants, if at all. These people? I see only a boy, and it's by Lord Rethys command. If you have concerns... I've got me a nose for ill intent. I'll take the measure of him. Wait. Oh. What? what who are you? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Arr. Aye. Not bad at all. He measures up quite nicely. This one means no harm to Lord Revis. Measure? You barely measure up to his waist, and that's counting the parrot! <laughs> oh, look at the parrot! Your concerns duly noted. Uh, this guy reminds me of Jekt. Doesn't he? Does he look like Jekt? Your concerns duly noted. I, for one, plan on following Lord Revis's orders. Do as you please, but know that no goodwill will come of this. I apologize. Pay her no mind. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. South of the va vast Golmore jungle in Kirwan lies a place known as the Feywood. The mist there is far denser than most, and even should you make it through that, there's no guarantee you'll make it past what lies beyond. Aye, he speaks of the hidden trial of the Feywood, which must be passed to open the gate to the holy land of Girovagan. Okay, where are we? Oh, we made it out of there. Out of that dang place. Alright. Lord Redis is out. Redis is out. There's to be no entry in his absence if you've business talk to those three. Let me get a look at you. I am digging her look. She's got a thong over her shorts. What? Why you got a thong over your shorts? It's supposed to be on the inside. I like the rose in her hair. And she's got some other little baubles in there. She cute. I don't know why her underwear is inside out like quail man but that's all good i'm not one to judge and this little thing he's got a parrot and it's cute it's got a big old nose little big old beak south of golmore jungle in kirwan lies the feywood past that the holy land of giravagan Very cheery music going on right now. You're a vegan. I've sailed many seas in my time in search of the richest shoals, but I never heard tell of that place. Quetus is a man true and just. This town was a den of villainy till he came... Did I say Quetus? Did I, did I combine Quayhand and Rethus? The town was a den of villainy until he came along and cleaned it up. Compared to how it was, this town's become hot, nigh on respectable thanks to Rethus. Still, there's some who resent what he's done here. He turns a cold eye on those who disturb the peace, that's why. Queasy boy. Oh, me belly is aching something fierce. Ate one mackerel too many. So where are we on the world map? Oh, we're way over here.
Man, we have been to some places. We have... We've explored a lot. Oh, Giravagan is way down here. South of the Henna Mines. One more jungle. Okay. All right. Ooh, hello. So, hey! Well, look at her. Simply to gaze upon the seas be Hey! Fucking kid. <laughs> Simply to gaze upon the sea's beauty cleanses the heart. Nothing there was so blue in my home. For the first time, I am glad of my journey. I don't much care for the way Rethus runs things around here. Why line the Empire's pockets? We can defend ourselves. Ah. Traveler, are you? If you follow the shore to the south, you'll reach the Rethus Mons. Head east and you'll find the town proper. I've caught up to you, Valkos. Ooh, look it. Whoa. It's good to come back home from a long voyage and talk with your true friends, the ones where you don't have to watch every word. You friends like that, don't you? I pity the man what doesn't. Otto's Technics. Odo. My husband dragged me from Rabinas Rabinoster out here into these marches to find a book. A book! And he still hasn't found it. You'd think a stone like this would have books on the ancient art of seafaring, yet I found nothing. All the way from Nob Rabinastra for this? Nothing like a good technique to help you out in a pinch. Like my technique, where my knees knock together and I run for my life. <laughs> Seems legit. I'm teaching the youngsters how to use their techniques. See, use them at the wrong time and you might as well have used them on yourself. All right, what do you got? Nothing. You got nothing. All right, we probably have some stuff to sell, so let's do that. Let's see what we got. Uh... I didn't get a lot of loot, did I? What? I was in that place for so long and I only got like a few things of loot. What's up with that? Oh, because they're a pirate town. I see. A lot of these regions used to be independent years ago before being annexed. Did I stop stealing? Yeah. Don't believe Ondor's lies. <laughs> Soldiers don't drop a ton of syllables. Yeah, I see that. Stingy jerks. They drop potions, not loot. Oh, okay. If you're looking for work, try the docks. A man with a strong back could look like a Sikh what has been keel hauled and he'd still be welcome. All right. Weapons? I probably can't afford much, but I feel like we've been getting quite a few upgrades on weapons and stuff recently, so we might not even have anything new. You meet a lot of nasties out there on the open seas. I make sure to get me the best weapons I can. If only I had a few more gill. I hear you're off to Girovagan or some such place. Sounds like a long trip. Best go prepared. Take my advice. I've been around. That's your advice? Go prepared? I mean, that seems kind of obvious, dude. But thanks. I Thank you. Okay. 
Baruni, what you got? Ooh, on hit KO. Oh my God. No. Oh no, we, there are upgrades here. We can afford a morning star. Let's do it. Okay. Well, we need to farm. We got to farm. It's official. We got to farm. Yep. We got upgrades. Oh man. Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. Okay. All right, guys. Most important shop here is magic if you're low on money. Oh, well, um, I already spent it all. <laughs> Oopsie. I mean, I can sell some stuff. Probably some weapons or something. Sky Pirate Redis. I looked up to him. I even wanted to be like him. A swashbuckling Sky Pirate. That's why he came here. Of course, the only work around here is lugging cargo to and fro. So much for buckling swashes. When will I see my skies? So, you're wanting to go to this Girovagan place? Well, I always say if you're a pirate, take the seas, and if you're a sky pirate, take the skies. Proper, like, arr. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <laughs> Thanks to Redis, this place has become a right pleasant town. It's a shame about the money he gives to the Empire, though. What's a Quay hand? Died in the woods. Died in the wool, wool sky pirate. Not so long ago, there was two pirate groups vying for control of this place. Port shut down for days. Then Redis came along, got everyone working together. Quite the man, that one. Okay, so this place was kind of like lawless and not in a good way. And then Redis came and united the town and, and everybody is cool about it, except for the fact that he's like kind of helping out the empire in some ways. Way is like key. It's a dock. Yeah, I think we're going to be doing s some hunts for the probably the rest of the stream and like just um, kind of want to do some just fighting and stuff after we explore, find a crystal and stuff. Officially, this is Imperial territory, you know, sometimes an assayer braves our streets, but he don't last long or he's running home. Heh. What's an assayer? I feel like we might have talked about that before, but I forgot. Oh, ho, ho, going to Gear Vegan, are you? Hmm, south of Golmore Jungle, deep in the Feywood. That would put it in the Yagd Defor, no? I'm excited to go back in a jungle area. A sayer is a tax collector. Oh, okay. Someone who appraises things, usually valuables. I grew up on the rough seas with rough mates. Aye, we had our quarrels now and then, but we did all right. Then Redis, he comes along, gets everyone working together, and look at us now! Sissified! Pirates are supposed to be rough as the waves! Okay, so... Some people are a big fan of what he's done, and others not so much. <laughs> but I guess it kind of goes in tow with, or in line with, um... The term pirate in this game can mean like there's different levels of I guess um crime that they do some pirates just like want to be free and like fly around and kind of live their own life and others actually like pillage and loot and things like that scary place this what with all them sky pirates and sea pirates running about makes a man afraid to run an honest business Do you sleep well, friend? My dreams are troubled of late. Perhaps I am not well. 
Man of the Key. Eh? You're a vegan? Never heard of the place. South of Golmore Jungle? What's Golmore? Farthest I've ever been is the end of the docks. There was a strange fellow used to come here, though. I haven't seen him lately. He was an odd one. Kept talking about defeating some worm out on Sorobi's step. But I heard all he does is yell at windmills. Pity the man that rides with him. Yells at windmills? We are watching the store while our mother's away. It's true! So true! Sorry, good sir, but we can't really cook. We can't. Can you? They're cute. I'll adopt all of them. Old man yells at windmill, yes. <laughs> that Rathus used to drop in and throw a cup back with the boys. Haven't seen him around of late, though. He too good to drink with us? That tall one sitting at the window with the ears. That a Viera? I saw one once down south. Never expected to see one here. You have the look of one unaccustomed to travel. Oh, one accustomed to travel. Tell me, when humes are attacked by monsters, do you stand and fight or do you flee? I fight, and sometimes I flee. People talk about drunken pirates like they were a dying breed, but I've seen enough in my day to last a lifetime. I have. Huh. All right, we could check out the board. Where did I see it? Here it is. Oh, I didn't talk to you. Going to get a Mark? Good for you. Paul always says having those things running wild is bad for business. Oh boy. <gasps> yep, we got a lot. Oh my gosh, there are so many hunts. Vi Viral and Avis. Creature stole from me a haversack containing many important belongings. I seek experienced hunters to join me in reclaiming it. Lindworm. A dragon. An ancient people sealed away a legendary worm in the ruins of the cheetah uplands. Now it stirs once more. We must stop it while we can. Overlord. A headless. I'm looking to be more popular with the ladies. Figure killing a tough monster ought to do it. Don't mention you helped me out, okay? Goliath. Heard tell of a most compelling monster from a passing adventure. I want to find out more, but I'll be needing some help. Hello, Jonathan. Welcome. Death Scythe. Greater undead. Ooh. Surrender the axe. Every night in my dreams, the same voice. This curse will be the end of me. I know what I did was wrong, but this... Surrender the axe. Okay, so we've got a lot of... A lot of stuff. A lot of hunts. We could probably spend... All of this stream... The rest of this stream, which is an hour and a half. And probably all of next stream on, on these hunts, probably. If we were trying to do them all. Our motto is buy cheap and sell cheap. We're here to support the port. Of course, wars drive up prices something fierce. Okay, so let's go start on this end. What would a traveler be wanting here? This is where the honest, hardworking people of the port live, lad. Hello? Hello? We may look a bit rough in Balfenheim, but we're hard-working folk and proud of it. Rethus, he's the roughest, hardest pirate of all. Rethus is a fine sky pirate. No one will tell you different. 
But who is he really? What exactly does he do in that manse of his? Well... Men in this town love an argument, and when it comes to Rethus, you're either for him or against him. I say for. What about you, sailor? Fort Villa. As far as I'm concerned, you either welcome that Rethe what Rethus has done for us, or you welcome to leave town. Some people can't leave soon enough. <laughs> I like this place. It's funny. The people are funny. I have a mind to ask them against Rethus what they hope for our town. They like everyone fighting each other? That's just what the Empire wants. So, all these people in here are probably like pro Rethus. And maybe in the other one, they're anti? Let's see. I know some youths what met in a house back here during the night to talk about how to get Redis out. What if they got against him? Let's see. Are these the ones right next door to the pro Redis people? There are certainly a lot of more people in this room. Sure, Balfenheim's free, but only because the Empire says it is. Why, we're no better than a colony. I hear Redis has been out of town lately. Time for us to take back the straits. I haven't had myself a good brawl in ages. Uh, what if the Imperials see us? Won't they come barging in and take over? Somewhere out there blows a free wind, and I'm going to find it and catch it. I'm sick of working here, lining the Empire's pockets. Lots of personality here. The people in this, in this, uh, port town. Blunt woman. If not for Redis, the Empire would have ground this town beneath its boot. Still, many pirates, sea and sky both, don't appreciate what he's done. She could have got a little bit more blunt. Jeez. Rathus doesn't come to town so much these days. Shame, because those folks what don't like him are getting bolder. Pretty soon the fights will start back up, and things will be just like they used to be. Ugh. Fishermen in other ports might complain of steep taxes, but here, port levy and trade keep the town rich, so there's no need to bleed us. Garulus Pirate. I know that Rethus is in league with the Empire. You expect me to believe they want... They leave this port alone for a little gill? Okay. We're making our way. Hey, Myth. Hi, Cloud. Right, we still haven't found the magic shop. Maybe it's this way. I've been, I've been good. How about you? What is it that pirates do, you ask? Well, not all pirates are created equal. Most here are in the shipping business, though. Exciting, eh? Hey. Everyone you meet's got an opinion of Rethus. Personally, long as he lets me fly the skies freely, he's welcome to do as he pleases. Something wrong with a man fishing on holiday? I didn't think so. No, nope, no issues here. Welcome! See anything you need? Better yet, see anything you don't need? I didn't think so. What you got? Accessories, nothing that I don't already have. Okay, bye. Don't need any gambits. We're good on that. All right, here's the magic place. Max said we might have something here that we're interested in. Hey, Nadim, what's up? 
Uh, magics, magics, get your flaming hot magics. Buy and be happy. Okay, what do we have? Whoa. Whoa. Darka, Sloga, Blazaga, and Kiraja. Oof. How am I gonna. I know I can sell this. I know I can sell this. Uh, Blazaga? Kiraja? Darka? I could buy them all! Yay. Okay, so let's go to Gambits and let's do... Darka. I want to give her charge back. Ugh. <sighs> Kiraha is so expensive. Is it Kiraja or Kiraha? Is it like the, like Baja? Baja Blast? Kiraja. You there, you're not from this town. Finish your business and leave. There's talk of Imperial spies about, you know. Either you're here to buy something or, on your, or you're on your way out, understand? Uh, I'm not listening to you. What? I'm headed on a trip, that's what. Gotta buy some foodstuffs before I go. And you've distracted me. I forgot, if I forget anything, it's your fault. If you're looking for the aerodrome, it's just up ahead. Radas is ma ma manse. That's past the bazaar. North? That's the way to the Sorobi Steppe. Here looking for lifting work? Sorry, son, but I only needed me one man. And that's this fellow right here. Maybe next time, eh? Pickings are awfully slim these days. Perhaps something to do with these rumors of war. It's the port towns that suffer first, I tell you. The men in this town, they may look rough, but each one of them's got a heart of gold. Uh, I'm sh I sure did some mining in my day. <laughs> Arr! You talking to me? What? Going to Giravagan? Where's that? Me, I prefer working to rambling, and after a day of working, a night of drinking. What's with you? You looking for work? Sorry, boy, but the loads we carry are too heavy for a Hume. Now out of the way. Ah, now there's a fresh face. Here to work the docks? Then you'd do well to speak to Rethus. He's a busy man, though. If you get a chance, take it. Chocobo. Birdie? You around here? Ooh, is that a cartographer? Me and me mates are off to make us a pretty gill. What? Now don't get me wrong. All we gotta do is ship cargo, you see? That pirate moniker is more of a tradition than a description. I would like to buy a map. Sorobi step. And... Port as well. Nice. Oh, I remember this guy. Hello there. Well, did you find your kingly treasure? It's good to see you again. I'd have thought you'd like to escape that flying fiend's attentions with your life, but to best it? That's more than luck. Haha, that true, true. Guess there's more to you than meets the eye, boy. Ah, friendly word of advice. If you're going to the Sorobi step, heed the weather. On days when it rains, the elementals come out to play and take my word for it. There's little fun to be had in their games. Of course, you'll want to go prepared. Care to buy anything? Probably not. All your stuff is... Wow. Your stuff sucks compared to the other stuff in this town. I'm sorry. Oh dear, a very strange... 
strange chocobo has gotten mixed in with my flock. I don't remember raising that bird. But it seems happy enough here. I've tried to put it out, but it keeps coming back. All the little cockatrice thinks he's a chocobo. Alright, we made it to the crystal. I am ready to do some hunts. But let me take a look at the map of the town first. We'll probably just go straight. We'll take a break and then we'll probably go straight to some hunts. But let me take a look here. Okay, so there's that one little area that we didn't explore. And then there are the Sorobi steps. So I guess we'll go explore the one area real quick. Take a break. And then it's hunting time. Aye, tis the happiest day of my life. For I invited this bonnie lass on a seafaring voyage, and she agreed she did. Aha. Oh, good for you. I am a shipwright by trade, but of late, the ships of Arcades and Bajurba are more popular in businesses. What? Oh, those are airships? Oh. I sent a ship out to fetch some cargo, but it's not come back for some time. I fear it is the work of some sea fiend. Perhaps it's time to stop pinching my gill and hire some Balfenheim pirates for protection? On me last voyage, I ran into a dragon the likes of which I've ne'er seen. Ah, uh, need to outfit me ship and crew a bit better. This fellow here says he wants to be a pirate. I told him what he needs is a strong back. Courage and wits are good, but they don't help lift cargo. Where am I? Okay. I'm like... I didn't go backwards, did I? Ah, so you crossed the Goldmore jungle? Brave the Feywood and go and so go to Giravagan, a very long journey that. Yet, should you use airships and gate crystals wisely, I think it not so difficult. A chocobo might be in order, but you already knew this. A trobador. What is that again? Forget not the necklace needing form. What left to tell a foal's fancy face fast faded, an unhealing scar in wetland abyss. Pass hence and return in darkness. Hmm? Ah, it is nothing. Forgive my ramblings. I have no idea what you just said, sir. Ah, oh, it was a long voyage. I'm weary down to me bones. You mind? Eh? You're a vegan? I saw that. Oh, and here's the aerodrome. No, no. Hey, me? Uh, no, I'm not going anywhere. I just enjoy watching the airships come and go. I wanted to be a sky pirate once, but that was long ago. Huh? Now? Now I'm a fisherman. I'm busy here handling some deals on Revis' behalf. You need something? Speak with the docent. There's a lot to be said for leisurely journeys. With airships, skate crystals, and chocobos, you're practically there the moment you leave. True, and it's great. With all the pirates in this town, both sea and sky, the aerodrome saw little use. At least not until Rethus invited all those traitors to town. Now it's livelier than ever. Angry woman. Uh-oh. Can you believe it? My brother says he's off to Arcades to find work. Arcades! Well, that might be one way to line your pockets. But if a sky pirate's to make his fortune, he should make it a sky pirating. Yeah, what's wrong with you? 
kind of a sky pirate are you? Wingless sky pirate? Oh no. There's an airship rights hanger off to the side of this aerodrome. We're here waiting for our repairs to get finished. Okay. I think we we explored pretty much everything. <laughs> 